Gentlemen, I'm uh, here in America this week. <laughs> freedom. I smell freedom! God, can you hear that? There is nothing here for miles around. This is unbelievable. I am loving this place. I'm out here uh, scouting for the hunting season, helping my buddy fix up uh, some stuff at his, uh, his off-grid cabin here. And uh, we're playing a little bit of ham radio. But this week I'm gonna, we're going to talk about a couple of uh, antenna options that won't cost you a ton of money. And, well, hell, one of them you could build yourself. Mount Shasta here is right before you get the hell out of California. We need to show everybody PDM in front of us. Oh, yeah. That's PDM, people. Acronym for Pointed Dick Mountain. <laughs> so I'm out here in America. I'll show you around. Uh, this is my buddy's place. It is... Um, <laughs> it's out in America somewhere. Over here... This is one of my antennas that I've got strung up over to the house. And uh, over here, I've got a chameleon uh, mill whip with a, uh, with a little chameleon HF antenna here. A little clamp on guy. And it works really, really nice. So I just picked up an ICOM IC7300 and being up here gave me a great opportunity to really get to know this radio. Being miles away from everything gave me an opportunity to test some antennas under uh, circumstances where at home I would just have noise and there was virtually no noise other than the atmospheric noise you normally get on HF. Being this far off grid also gave us the opportunity to uh, test this stuff as a real world means of communication. I mean, we had very limited uh, satellite internet and virtually no infrastructure. Now the two main antennas that I was testing this weekend uh, was this uh, home built uh, 64 to one transformer with 60 feet of wire uh, connected to that tree out there and the Chaw Hybrid Micro which is a uh, broadband antenna that can be used in a whole bunch of different configurations. Uh, this thing is uh, said to work from 6 meters all the way down to 160 meters and yeah I tried it. It does tune all that way. Coupled with the Chaw Mill Whip uh, makes it a very versatile antenna. I used this clamp here to uh, clamp it onto a pole outside the, uh, the house. And although it wasn't high, it did get out fairly well. Now, uh, what I really wanted to work on was the testing. And here uh, on 10 meters, this is the, uh, the Chaw Hybrid. And this uh, is my homebrew antenna and you can see that the homebrew is really really sharp. The chameleon antenna was almost flat across the entire 20 meter band and unfortunately I forgot to film the other antenna. On 40 meters the chameleon antenna didn't tune as well but it was a uh, nice smooth. The homebrew was dead resonant uh, just below 7.20. Now I was really happy with the performance of the Chameleon on 80 meters. I mean this is a tiny little antenna and it tuned it pretty damn good. 
My wire antenna, it doesn't even tune on 80 meters. Now I never got to see how the Chameleon performed as an end fed antenna. So when I got home, I strung it up on my tower and gave it a shot. The results on 40 and 80 were less than stellar, but it was passable. So I decided to uh, crank up the uh, Chameleon as a vertical again, but this time I got it a little bit of height, about 15 feet off the ground. And the SWR on it was right in the ballpark without a tuner. Real nice. Now you're going to pay a little bit over $300 to get uh, both of these things from Chameleon. On the other hand, if you're cheap and kind of handy, you can watch my video on how to build this nifty 64 to 1 Balan. I'll put the link in the description below. So while I was in Oregon, I had the opportunity to check out just an incredible ham shack uh, that's located on one of the tallest buildings in town. And this place has beams, dipoles, uh, just unbelievable kinds of antennas. And this thing gets out. It's used for public service and emergency uh, communications. So I'm here in Medford, Oregon. And uh, this is the guy that's responsible for ruining your me. And your sickness. And my sickness of ham radio. This is Fred W7LQL. He's my uncle. Okay. <laughs> and I'm here in uh, in one of his shacks at the, uh, at the Rogue Valley Manor. At the Rogue Valley Manor, which is also like the area retirement community. What, retirement community and Aries Hub and yeah, all, that, all that other good stuff. So yeah. I'm checking out all his toys. Anyway. Um, the, the thing that I like about, one of the things I like about it, 20 meters is just absolutely dead, yeah. isn't it? Now, does this touch screen too? Oh, yes, it does. Yes. Oh. All right, guys, that's it for me this time. I'm going to go play some ham radio uh, on my uncle's beautiful Kenwood TS-990. 7-3.